Do you know how to spell definitely? You might not, but a sixth grader from Prescott definitely does. And she's spelling herself closer and closer to victory. Daisy Gonzalez Perez in our DC Bureau has more. Alina Alford spends hours a day studying for the last four years to get here, the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. For the last few months, I've been doing one-on-one uh, -on -one quizzing with my dad about three hours a day of that because uh, we had to finish a list in a certain amount of time. That work paid off. After two days of competition this week, Aaliyah has been able to advance to tonight's semifinals. But it hasn't been easy. Can the regroup this abnormal? Yes. This would be D-Y-S-P-A-T-H-Y. Yes. Okay. Congrats, Aaliyah. It was no surprise to Brenda Alpert, who said Aaliyah has been working hard with her dad to get ready. And her dad has been the more day-to-day, -day, um, what would you call it, uh, I guess uh, unofficial driver? spelling coach or slave driver. <laughs> After spelling Nusiform and defining Malinger on Tuesday, 11-year-old Aaliyah spelled Krupis this morning to make it to the semifinals. One of just 48 remaining from the original 229 contestants Organizers praised her poise. And, uh, yeah, I, she has appeared very confident, yeah. The Prescott homeschooler who beat out 26 other students in the state competition to get here is not sure she'll be back next year, but she does have advice for future Spelling Bee competitors. Study hard and take your time more than I did because I was working, uh, which I should know. Leah is the only speller from Arizona. But she said she is excited to represent Arizona for as long as she can. At National Harbor in Maryland, Daisy Gonzalez Perez for Cronkite News. Since Daisy filed that report, Aaliyah has made it through the first two rounds of the semifinals by correctly spelling Osmark and defining Vierklemt. If she makes it through tonight, she'll be in the finals tomorrow and we'll be watching.